Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Fire Emblem Three Houses. Uh, I was thinking earlier today, I was thinking Fire Emblem Three Houses is probably going to become really nostalgic for me, mainly because it's similar but different in Pokemon when I was younger. Uh, I would play Pokemon way more than I play this game because I had more free time. But um, it, it was always the game I would go to, right, and be able to come back to. So I feel like that this is what this game is going to be, that like, it's like a nice friend that you can come and talk to anytime. If you know what I'm saying. Okay. Um. Okay. I don't really remember too much of what happened last time. But I think I'll do. If I can make my way over here. I think I'm going to do this. Definitely. Paralog. Can I remember how to do anything? Uh, yeah, I'm going the wrong way. I want to do this. Did I say paralog? The support conversation. Also, speaking of support conversations. Um, I was thinking about this as well. That I like how they do the support conversations where. They're more they're more impacted by the story where like the other games didn't really have them that impacted like you could get married to anyone at any time. Like Sethia, let's see how you are you doing. Thank you for helping me with my training again today, Professor. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep at it for a while longer. So you go on ahead. You should get some rest. I can't. Not when I'm right on the cusp of using my power to greater potential. Is my mic? Yeah, my mic's on. yourself are tired. Just don't worry about me, okay? Mm -mm. I thought she was going for a sit-up. I'm sorry, Professor. <laughs> it was careless of me to continue, despite how fatigued I clearly was. I probably should have listened to you. Now I've made a mess of things. Mm -hmm. I can't help but feel the need to rush in all things constantly. You get that way when you realize you haven't got much time. The fuck? What do you mean? I believe I've mentioned that House Ardelia was at one time being controlled by people from the Empire. Mm -hmm. During that time, strange people, mages perhaps, came and performed rituals on all the youth within my family. With the what? Empire monitoring our every move, my parents could do nothing but watch in horror as all of this unfolded. Okay. One after another, the children died. Till the only one left was me. Is that why you have two crests? No. My hair wasn't always this color. Oh. During their experiments, they'd been doing things with my blood. One morning, I awoke like this. A shock of white hair. All trace of pigment gone. Mm. Upon seeing me, the mages were delighted. They realized that their experiments had finally succeeded. Sure enough, they ran a test and saw that two crests coexisted within me. Losing pigment from my hair wasn't the only loss. The mages informed me that my lifespan was now greatly shortened. Five more years at most. Less. Damn. Shortly thereafter, the mages lost interest in me, and we never saw them in the Ordelia household again. Since all that, my family has been in decline. It's challenging now even to govern our territory. After all my mother and father have suffered, I at least want them to have peace as they grow older. That is all I wish for. I haven't much time to ensure it comes to pass. It's too soon to give up. <clears throat> True. What's been done to me can be undone. Let's try to find a way to undo it. Professor. Oh, that would kind of be cool. I know that. The only way I can conceive of would be to remove my crest somehow. But I don't know if that's even remotely possible. Even if it were. I wouldn't be of much use to you and the others without my crest. We will find a way. You sound we will find a way. I'll allow your resolve to bolster my own. Thank you, Professor. 
I, I know it's probably not going to happen, but it would kind of be cool if this storyline with Lysithia was like would end with her hair changing back to her original color. I don't feel I don't foresee it happening. There are actually invisible walls here, but there is literally an item right there. Can I not get that item? Wait, what? Is this a glitch? There's a hundred percent an item right there. Oh, I can grab it. There we go. Sweet. All right. Uh, check the greenhouse. Have I not? Oh, I have. Cool. I never know what to plant, so I'm just going to keep planting. Random stuff. Um. Right. Nothing in particular. I kind of would like to do the the brawling tournament because we have Raphael here I don't think we've ever done a tournament where there was no other students here so we're gonna do 26 damage times two then he's gonna do 19 okay I <laughs> immediately crits him undefeated champion right here let's go I like betting on my students in fucking prize fights. Double checking if I'm recording. Yep. You guys wouldn't want to miss this. Oh my god. He's a beast. <laughs> Just when you thought you would survive, Rafael comes in, takes you out. He is making me money. No chance. You got no chance. Hey, my boy. That's sick. Um, okay, let me check the statues. I won't waste too much time exploring like I usually do because we want to kind of get into some stuff. Do we have any letters? There's one note. Okay, let's do this. I've hated exercising and avoided training, but now I'm afraid that I may be holding everyone back. Is there anything I can do to help? You're doing fine. You can boost their morale with delicious meals. You should do some special. Boost their morale with delicious meals. Yeah, I knew she would like that one. Yes. Here, Mercedes. Let's go up this stuff. No, nope, we can't. See you, my man. Okay. Then with that, I'm going to go to the dining hall. And up some motivation. That was a weird hand movement Raphael did. I don't know if anybody else saw that, but he did a weird... It was like the animation. I think they just use the animations for everyone, but it was super weird. I don't know. Just seeing him do that. Yummy. Uh, full menu. Sadie's in flame. Um, Leone, everybody else would, it's fine. So I guess just to get Leone up, we'll do that. that my pet. I don't really know what to do now that I had, like before it was, it was like I was struggling to get shit done. I, 
I wasn't listening, I apologize. But I guess for me, I'm just gonna start leveling some other stuff randomly with people. Um, can Flane teach me anything? I don't think she, oh, she can, totally, nice. Um, sweet. She could have taught me some magic back in the day when I needed to know that. That would have been lovely. Um, Leone apparently is in here somewhere. There she is. Our beautiful orange goddess. Uh, let's get the spear up, sure. Um... Okay. Seed. Um. Instruct automatically. I'm really getting the hang of this. Bow crit plus ten. That sounds lovely. I have to ask you. I have a tactical question, Professor. Let's say you're leading an army in it, and the enemy, whose forces greatly outnumber your own, has surrounded you. What do you do in this situation? Divide your force to carry out two pro... Okay. Push forward, punch a hole in their formation, hold your position and stave them off. Uh, I would do either of these two. I feel like holding your position while being surrounded is kind of... I don't know. It, it probably could work, but I'd say push forward. Especially because that's probably something she would do. But trying to get out of there would probably be the best... One of the better solutions. Because you don't want to be surrounded. Obviously. Oh, my girl, Marianne. I love her. I love her. I'll let you take the lead. Yes, under Look per perfect. Now to apply this knowledge could be useful. Age is but looks like I'm okay. And I, I don't really want to do this. Ooh. Oh right, that's from the DLC. That's some other stuff, which if I look at, like, my team could probably handle a level 40 mission. I just don't know if I really want to. I have to be level 30 here. Oh, uh, you're good. She can still be a grimoire. Grimmery. Oh, shucks. I did say I kind of wanted her to be a holy knight. But I also kind of like this as well. I feel like a holy knight is what she was sort of meant to be. Because she likes horses. So I don't know if I really want... I don't know if I want to... Do that... I probably have to make a decision at some point soon. And then... I can't really remember what I wanted to do for Hilda. Other than probably make her... A great knight? <laughs> that axe is way... Or that hat... Axe, that shit is way too big for her. I remember I wanted to make her a wyvern lord. Uh, if I'm, yeah, I'm probably making her a, one of the knights because she's doing the stables right now. I remember my process. You've probably seen me do this like 50, 10 billion times. Okay, and then you're going to be a bow knight. Mercedes is going to be a gremory. I don't think she'll be able to do that yet. So I think I want to do a, a seminar for uh I 
I think I'll do this. There is always this will help keep me. Instruct manually, I accidentally clicked that. I do in fact want to auto instruct. Oh, excuse me, with the sniffles. I don't know if we'll get into any of the story today. We might, though. I do really need to look into more of the, the uh, support conversations, though, because I really do want to do it, and I feel like they're piling up at this point. <clears throat> right, because like if I go to support conversations, you open it and it's got like 50. I feel like not this episode, but the and not the one after this, but the one after that is when we're going to do that stuff. Because I want to, if I don't get into the story today, then next episode I'm definitely going to get into the story. Because I want to know what's happening. And then, after that, I want to do some of the story, or some of the supports. I was like, is this the dining hall? I was so lost. That yeah, he's doing like the weird hand thing that Leone was doing. Let's get my two favorite girls eaten together. Looks like we're eating some ice cream. That's pretty cool. Mercedes and Lysithia, my uh, least favorite, not least favorite, less favorite girls. I like them both, except Mercedes fucking hair, Her fucking hair. <laughs> I'm so massively triggered. Jameer and Claude. I don't know if that will be perfect. Yeah, there we go. I don't know if the boost actually does anything with um, the characters, but I assume it like increases their motivation more. Mir and Ignatz. And I think that will be everyone. Oh, I remember Lorenz and Catherine had some weird uh, conversations. If you know what I'm talking about when uh, for their support, let's cook something with Manuela. I like hanging out with her. I love the the yes, like the what they do with like the double arm pump thing, right? Uh, is this kid OK? <laughs> Can I give this kid food? <laughs> He's just chilling in line. Bro, you already ate with me earlier. Oh, Raphael, you silly man. Waiting in line for food. 
when you become super sane like me, maybe you'll be able to eat multiple meals all the time with everybody in your class. I feel like with the amount of time we eat with people. Oh my boy, host a tea party. Um I guess. Hey, professor. You called for me, so here I am. Thanks. The, I don't know why I love like the interaction options in this game where you can invite them to tea parties. Gardening mishaps, a new gambit. You're doing great work. Okay. Uh -huh. View from the bridge, the library's collection, strange fish in the pond. View from the bridge? Strange fish in the pond then? I guess. You're doing great work. Word of advice. Great work, I guess. Thanks for the I don't know. I really love that stuff. Also, it looks like there's some sort of event happening soon. Raphael would like to speak to you. Sure. Hey, Professor. I think you've been working too much lately. <laughs> okay. Let me set to advance. I'm going to keep going with or without you. But you're the one doing the most out there. It's real impressive how you can focus on giving orders and fighting. I don't think I could do both in the same battle. Oh, I, I think you're pretty good. The place, even after the battle's over, I just don't want you to wear yourself out. I'll be okay. So yeah, as soon as you say you're fine, that's when it hits you. <laughs> no offense, Professor, but don't you think some folks might be taking advantage of you? Claude keeps asking you to do things, oh. but you never say no. Like when you gave that speech mm. to the troops. That didn't seem like something you wanted to do. I know you got a man orders on the battlefield, but you shouldn't have to do things off the battlefield if you don't want to. Such a nice dude. You've done things you didn't want to. What do you mean? Like studying? Yeah. Sure. It's not my favorite thing in the world, but that was to keep my little sis fed. I had good reason for it. It's the same for me. The same, huh? He's gonna think I have a little sister. No, okay, he's smart. I you don't want to do for the sake of everyone else. That's real noble of you, Professor. I guess I can't get in your way if you're doing it for the right reasons. Okay then. I'm gonna keep trying to do my best. But now, I'm gonna do it for you. Oh. Little sis is important to me. But you're real important too. Fuck, man. I always work hard for the people who matter to me. And having more of them in my life just means I gotta work even harder. Your heart is as what golden you as your hair, dog. I think you're important to me too, Raphael. Really? I wasn't expecting you to say that. <laughs> my boy. Blush. My boy. Together, then. At least until this war's over. I'll work to make sure you don't collapse from exhaustion. You got nothing to worry about, Professor. I've been training nonstop. I got your back, no matter what. Yeah, dog. I'll set up some more prize fights. You can start owning me more money. It'll all be good. Yes. This song reaches the god. It is so much fun to <laughs> Yeah. Are we ever gonna move the ginormous pile of shit out of the cathedral? Like, I understand it's not gonna happen in one day, but like, it should happen at some point in our existence. I've got the gist of it now. Let's put it to the test. Okay, because I don't foresee us getting to story, I'm going to do some support conversations. Um, let's see. I go straight to my two best girls. Um, Hilda, I wanted to thank you for helping me in the infirmary. I brought you these pastries. I thought that said panties. Some tea on. Have a seat. That sounds lovely. But I also wanted to apologize for always causing you such trouble. It 
No trouble? No trouble at all. Everything tastes better with friends, don't you think? I give you help, you give me sweets, <laughs> have a little tea party. It's a good arrangement, I'd say. I'm used to it now, so if it changed suddenly, I would feel disoriented. Mm. I suppose if you're enjoying yourself, then it can't be that bad. Sure, you don't seem to mind listening while I gab, so I'm enjoying myself plenty. But do let me know if I'm too boring. <laughs> no, no, you're not boring at all. In fact, you're, um, very good at talking. <laughs> you're also good with your hands. Oh, clean and uh, okay. Organized better than almost anyone. I envy you. Oh, stop. I'm blushing. I'm not as great as all that. We're both a lot different on the inside than we look on the outside, don't you think? How do you mean? People who see mm. you think you're so proper, but you're actually clumsy. That's why I help you, because there are some things you just can't do. I'm sorry you always have to clean up after me. Uh -oh. I didn't say I hated it. In fact, you've taught me a few new techniques I can use to persuade <laughs> people. Maybe I'll start imitating you a little bit. Oh, oh my okay. god. That sheepish, sorry, and those quavering downcast eyes. But that might not work as well for me. People would probably assume that I'd hit my head. Oh, wow. <laughs> Aw, Mary Ann laughing at me. <laughs> so rude and yet so adorable. Mm. I'm so sorry. I just can't help it. When I imagine you doing those things, I... <laughs> oh my yeah, god. It's rather un like I'll admit. <clears throat> okay. That's enough laughing. <laughs> I'm so, <laughs> so, so, sorry. <laughs> hey, uh, are you all right? That tea's hot, Marianne. Be careful. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, ouch, hot. Come on, what did I just say? I know, I'm sorry. Oh, 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 oh. hot. Oh, boy. A real steady hit, uh. Marianne. It's nice to see her laugh. Sure, she was laughing at me, but how can I get mad when she looks so dang cute? Oh my god, I feel you, Hilda. I feel you! Uh, okay. We'll do, I don't know, like four more, Seven. three more. I have to insist that you take up a position behind me on the battlefield. <laughs> I must protect the common folk. You have been in danger rather frequently of late. I appreciate your concern, but I can take care of myself. <laughs> Everything is about nobility and common folk with you, Lawrence. It's tiresome. Tiresome? I am only fulfilling my duty. Is that to say you would have left me lying on the floor in pain had it not been your duty to assist? Ooh. You mean when you were hurt on my account? I still would have assisted you, as any commoner would have. It is simply a matter of perspective. And if I were common born, I would not have simply let you leave without. Never mind. Uh, forgive me. Excuse me? Mm. Are you implying that you would have taken advantage of me if you were low born? What? No! And I am no longer interested in the hypothetical nature of this conversation. What the fuck? Oh, Lawrence, you'll never change. What do you mean? I find myself growing irritated just <laughs> Is that so? I fail to see exactly how I am so irritating. I ship it. You claim that you don't want to be involved with common women, don't you? But I know deep in your heart you love being around us. You're willfully ignorant to that. I what the fuck? What you're depriving yourself of. Oh shit. I'm certain I've told you before that my marriage must be beneficial to House Gloucester. I've not the time for fruitless courtship. Fruitless? Oh, how can you say such things? What would happen if you fell in love with a commoner? Nothing at all. I accept the role that I must play, and any sacrifice that must accompany it. So, your duty as a noble is more important than your own feelings? Naturally. Hmm. If that's true, then your whole existence is rather sad. Yo, <laughs> she just broasted the boy. This is my choice. There is no cause for pity. 
I think I've heard enough. I have to go. Mercedes was spitting fire at Lorenz. <laughs> You're irritated. She's irritated by the sight of him. Uh, Catherine. Let's see what Catherine and Leone have to talk about. Two strong, independent women. That's enough. You're done for today. Right. Thanks. Are you feeling pain anywhere, Leone? No. Sorry. I'm all right. Why are you apologizing? <laughs> because I can't hold my own against you. And on top of that, you have to worry about hurting me. I feel like I've let you down. Oh. Bitch slaps her. Do you know what I meant when I said, you're done for today? Probably that I was about to keel over. No, you've no, done good work. It wasn't about your physical strength. I could tell that you didn't have the will to keep fighting. Oh. I've got plenty of will. No matter what I do, I can't win. Isn't that what you were thinking? <laughs> if you think you can't win, you won't. <sighs> Perhaps you already knew that. Good point. But never assume that you'll win. That is, don't underestimate your foe. Mm. At all times, mm. you have to keep a clear head to make split-second decisions. In battle, mistakes are deadly. But I don't have a crest or a relic. How could I ever hope to beat you? Doesn't she doesn't have a crest? I'll fight barehanded, and I won't use my crest. Think you can win? Leone is pretty cool first. without a crest, considering, you know? Dear, I might have overdone it there. Just beat her to but a bloody I pulp. I would be doing her a disservice if I pulled any punches. It's Leone after all. She'll be back on her feet and charging at me before I know it. She's just like completely broken, like spine's been shattered. Like irreversible tragedy. Um let's see Ignatz. I feel like Ignatz had something for Mercedes, so we're gonna check this out, and then this will be the last one. Oh, Ignatz, what are you sighing over? Sorry, I shouldn't sigh in such a holy place. There's nothing wrong with it. I sigh here all the time. The <laughs> goddess receives all our prayers and our sighs. What's bothering you? I'd be happy to talk about it if you'd like. Oh, it's nothing. Not worth talking about. Is that so? Am I not worth talking to? She is That's not what fucking really good with words. Sorry to offend you. I'll tell you about it. I'm just uncertain about my future. My father was not just to talking to everyone about his fucking shit. <laughs> Poor guy. As pathetic as me? Bro. I don't find you pathetic at all. You were a sniper. Is there something you would rather pursue? Art. Well, I've always loved painting. You want to become an artist? How wonderful! What's your ambition? Me? I simply want to help people with their troubles. Those who can't help themselves. I've considered working for the church, but that's only a vague idea. Oh, I'm sorry. We were supposed to be discussing your troubles. <laughs> Not at all. I'm actually feeling a little better. Knowing that you aren't sure about your future, I don't feel quite so alone. Everyone in this world feels a little lost, you know. I really do believe that the life of an artist is a wonderful dream to pursue. Mm -hmm. There was a beautiful painting of the goddess in the church where I used to live. Whenever times were difficult, I would stare up at her and sigh. Thinking about that painting helps me even now. Is he gonna paint her a painting of paint the, goddess. the goddess? Yeah. You should. I'm sure your painting will help someone else in their time of need. I can't paint anything powerful enough to do that. I wish I could. Maybe one day. I'll give that some thought. Thank you, Mercedes. Mercedes. Oh, yeah. That was a pretty cool. I like these support conversations, man. We still got quite a few to go, but we're going to stop today. Next time, we're going to get into some story. So if you really want to get and see some story, watch the next episode because it's probably going to be story. See you guys next time. Hopefully you enjoyed.